So in this video, we're going to write a bit of code and get a bit more familiar, familiar with how things work by running this code I created in the last video manually. So inside of this get func, uh, yeah, inside of this get, I have a function uh, that I pass to get, and I want to just add a console of hi. Okay. And let's run our code at the terminal and see how this whole virtual property thing works. Okay, so inside my project directory at the command line, I will run the command node. Okay, and so that this will start up my node shell and inside of here we can write any amount of arbitrary JavaScript. So like I could do one plus one and that'll give me two. So inside this node shell, I want to require in our user model and I want to create a new user. And I just want to play around with it a bit and see how this post count field works. So first I'm going to require in the user model. So I will say const user require, that's a relative path, SNC user, okay. All right, now notice that this require here is assuming that I started up my node shell while in my user directory. So I will run this and I required a user and assigned it to a user. So right now in, in my user, um, user is my actual mongoose model, user, right? User. So I get all that back. Uh, so if you run this and you get an error, that means you probably did not run your node shell from the correct directory. Okay, so now that we have our user model required in, we're going to create a new, um, we're going to create a new uh, a user object. Okay, so I can do Joe equals new user. All right, and boom. And we're not going to give him any properties, so we're just going to require Joe in, and so that's what I did there. And so when I ran that, it's gonna look like I'm just trying to print out a variable. And I just wanna see what exists on the property post count, uh, but because we have defined a virtual field of post count that has a getter assigned to it, uh, so rather than giving us the raw value of post count, this function is gonna um, execute uh, instead. Well, I thought this function would execute. Um, I don't see it executing there. Um, so the idea is when I access post count, we should see a console log of high. Um, okay, I did not get the console log of high. Instead, I've got the ID of Joe and the posts. Hmm. Uh, just look through this. I was expecting to see. Uh, uh, hmm. Okay. So what if I do Joe dot ID? Okay. I get the ID, which is the same as here. All right. Um, so the idea was to just look at this property and dump this property out. So in theory, post count should be a virtual field. So when I reference post count, we run a function, right? When I reference post count, we run a function uh, and whatever gets returned from that function will get logged out. So I'm not sure what happened there. Also, when we run this function, we need to somehow access our list of posts sitting on the user model. Right now, the list of posts is an empty array. Okay. Um, okay, so how are we going to actually reference a user and figure out what posts they have? Let's see, what I could do is go ahead and get out of the shell. Okay, and then in here, what I'll do is I'm gonna change this up. I'm gonna do return this and save that. I wonder if I didn't, did I save it before? Maybe I didn't save it and that's why I didn't. Let's try this again. And we tried that. And then add user, got all that. Still didn't get high, like I suspected, unless. All right, that's fine. 
let's just get out of here. Let's continue on the lesson. Maybe I'll figure out where I went wrong down the line. All right, and so now what I'm gonna do here, I'll do return this, save that. And so um, let's test this at the shell again. Let's go ahead and run node again. So node, okay, then users, require, uh, SRC user, all right, okay, got that, and then Joe, sign, new user, uh, Okay, reference error user is not defined. Huh. Okay. Well, this is just not working out for me today, is it? Uh, how far up do I have to go here? Holy cow, how far am I going here? So I said, no, oh, I went all the way back to the top. That's not what I wanted to do, user. So when I hit user, I got the, the model of that, the user model. Uh, but when I try to do new user, that did not work. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so what did I have earlier, users? Is it because I used users? Let me. I think I know I should have done user, not users. Let's try that again. And now user, let's see, there we go. And now I wanna reference joe.postcount, okay? Now I got back just the same properties that exist on Joe. So here's how the getter works. If I want to access any of the properties that exist on that particular user, in this case, I want to look at the post list that exists on Joe. And so I want to look at like joe.posts. So instead of saying joe.posts, like going back to the function, instead of saying joe.posts, what I can do is I can do return this.posts right? Um, but I'm going to update it to also add dot length. Okay. And so now when I reference this, it should return the number of posts associated with a given model instance. So as a quick aside, this whole system of referring to this to get access to the current instance of the model is the reason why I use the function keyword uh, here inside the getter instead of a fat arrow function. Had I used the fat arrow function, the context or the value of this uh, would, uh, would be bound to the whole file. And so this will not refer to the instance of the user model, but the whole file instead. So it would have been the equivalent to like putting this somewhere out here, okay? Um, so this is one of the very rare cases where uh, you do not want to use a fat arrow function. Uh, definitely want to use a keyword function uh, or a keyword, the keyword function, so the value of this does not get uh, clobbered. Okay, so I'm going to do one more test in the terminal because I really didn't like how that worked before. So I'll do node again. Um, then I'm going to do user. This time, make sure it's singular user, require, require. So I see user. Okay. And of course, get that. Okay. And now do Joe and store inside Joe new user. Oh boy. I see if this is going to work. Post uh, title. We'll call it MongoDB. And and not to forget, all right, return. Oh, that one worked, good. So here's Joe, and he now has a 
host of MongoDB associated with the idea of Joe. So when I reference Joe.host count, I end up with one because when I reference Joe.post count, this inner function runs. So this is equal to Joe uh, that when we reference Joe. Dot, so here, when we reference, so this is the equivalent to saying Joe.post.length. Okay. Um, and so this is virtual fields in a nutshell. So now I expect my test to run. So I'm going to go back here, I'm going to exit out of here, and then I'll run npm run test. And let's see how that goes. Great. So now my tests are passing successfully. So it looks like I'm successfully pulling out the number of posts by looking directly at the list of posts in that sub document array. Now I have one pending test that you could see here uh, because I temporarily X'd out the, that one test inside the testing suite that I'm going to go back to later. So now I have a handle on this virtual fields with getters here. And so in a subsequent video, I'm going to flip back over here to update tests uh, file and see if I can make another reasonable update uh, to my test where I was previously asserting a post count uh, incrementer. All right, I will see you there.